Hi everyone, so today I will be reviewing the Trader Joe's Crackling Red Fruits in the Forest Scented Candle. The net weight of this is 11.28 ounces or 320 grams with an approximate burn time of 45 hours with hints of pomegranate, plum, raspberry, and cedar. So initially this candle came sealed, however I had to smell it in in the store they did not have a tester or like a test sample so i really enjoyed it so i thought oh might as well it's a little bit pricey for trader joe's but i feel like so far i've had the best luck with their bigger larger 9.99 candles and i do want to make a note that this scent already came out i want to say 2022 might have been the first time it came out so this is a returning scent and i can definitely see why i feel like not a lot of people were hyped about this candle but I feel like they were really hyped about the chocolate croissant candle I don't know if I have my review posted but that was a uh, for sure let down if you are burning it the traditional way and when I saw that this one it has one wick let me go ahead and show you if I haven't done so already so here's the wick I've already burned it once and if you can see it pretty much pulled all the way through except for one little chunk in one of the areas but so far it's okay in terms of the type of wax used i don't really see a specific section that says hey it's made with soy wax it's made with paraffin wax or coconut um, wax so i have a feeling that it might list it on the website but i'll go ahead and insert that if i can or if not i have a feeling it's a predominantly like soy or coconut wax blend I do want to note the warning. It says to prevent fire or serious injury, burn candle within sight. Never burn a candle on or near anything that can catch fire. So for the instructions, which is also important, it says to burn it on a heat and stain resistant surface. Keep wax free of matches and debris. So I'm just going to skip over a little bit because sometimes it does say to burn it for no more than X amount of hours. In this case, it says extinguish candle after four hours and allow to cool before relighting. Stop burning when half of an inch of unmelted wax remains. And the SKU number for mine reads 75232B. Yeah, I think that's a B. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it doesn't say anything in terms of um, like wax so that's a little bit disappointing so i don't know if you're a purist and you only want 100 percent soy 100 percent so uh, 100 percent paraffin or 100 percent coconut good luck maybe uh contact trader joe's himself but this one says a product of tanzania and then it has the trader joe's i don't know if it's the manufacturer or the distributor in monrovia california but I initially smelled this and I thought this is a perfect candle because it's not too feminine, not too masculine. This could be a good like unisex scent. And the reason why I thought it was going to be a little bit more sweet because I saw raspberry. Um, however, the pomegranate and the plum really deepen it. I almost get a little bit of a like a plum wine type of smell. You know those fruits that if you have, um, I think they're fruits, and they would stain your clothes. That's exactly what I get from this candle. And the cedar is so nice because it just adds another depth of layer. I mean, that's pretty much all I get, just the red fruits um, in the forest. So the name is perfect. I can't think of a better name for this. And let me go ahead and light it. But yeah, surprisingly, I got a better scent throw out of this one than the tin can. So the chocolate croissant, of course. And it definitely traveled and filled up my room. I do want to make a note, though, if you want like an 8, 9, or a 10 out of 10 scent. This isn't it. Unlike the tomato leaf candle, which was then recalled, which was a two wick option. I have a feeling because the wicks were a little bit too close to the edge. But let me go ahead and show you how it looks like. Also, I do want to make a note that if you want to burn this candle, like, I don't know about that warning, but it did not pull out in four hours just because it's one wick and it has a long, like, area or circumference to melt um for me it took about more like five or six hours so when you burn this candle it's a definite commitment also in terms of the crackling sound you're like oh how crackling is it i would say it's different than a woodwick candle that's i think the most famous crackling candle i feel like this one leans a little bit more of 
like water when it's simmering that type of sound or even like a slight hissing but it's not super um loud that it's annoying or anything however if you have like let's say you're you have this on and you're watching an action scene in a movie the tv is definitely going to drown this out so it's not super loud um right now i have my microphone to record this so let me go ahead and unplug it so you can get a good idea of how it smells or how it smells how it sounds like okay so i unplugged my mic so the audio might have changed but let me go ahead and show you how it sounds like one thing about crackling candles is you can't really record over them because you just hear the crackle in the background i'm like oh no background noise so let me get my reusable lighter Okay, so I'm going to talk over it. I don't know how good or bad that is, but I'm going to plug in my mic soon. But anyways, um, if you notice that the initial sound that you get is a lot stronger than the sound that it mellows down to. So um, if you're expecting that very loud, aggressive sound in the beginning, that's not going to be what you hear towards the majority of your burn. Um, also, I have a feeling that with this one, since I lit it, um, I'm going to have to commit to burning it. So I'm going to have to turn off my chocolate croissant candle that I'm warming, warming also from Trader Joe's. But yeah, this is essentially the sound that you're going to get the majority of the time. I don't know if this sounds soothing to you or not, but I have a feeling that this is lighter or like less loud. I'm trying to say quieter. And the woodwick candle um so definitely if you are searching for that type of the sound it could be because the woodwick candles have the x woodwicks versus this one it's just one like it's just kind of like a slap of wood and it's in the candle so yeah but overall ugh, i love the scent uh, it i do want to make a note that it smells a little bit funky after you turn off the candle so after it fully pulls out and it's cooled down and you're going to light it again or you put the lid on the scent does change a little bit it almost smells a little bit like bitter i guess like bitter mixed in with the smokiness it could be that since the wood wick has been burnt that that's the scent that's changing but don't worry in your subsequent burns the scent that will be that it will be giving off is not going to be that burnt smell just to let you know Okay, so also in terms of how it performs, oh, let me plug in my mic. Okay, so in terms of performance, I would say that the main con or drawback of this is that it takes forever to pull out. Um, I, I would want to say it took me like five to six hours and it didn't really reach all the way towards the edges. And I don't have any candle lamp, um, candle lamps, candle container uh, holders that would help expedite this process so um yeah there's that it's like a big commitment you're probably gonna have to watch like two movies in order to wait for this to fully pull out but it is soothing um you don't have to worry about the wick drowning i've had that issue with wooden wicks or that the wick it doesn't light up afterwards like it gets too wet and burnt or it like um it cracks off that's not the case in this one in terms of sooting, I haven't noticed any like bits of soot coming towards this candle, which typically for the woodwick candles, I notice the soot around the midway mark. However, their vessels are a little bit kind of tapered in the or towards the, the middle, which I think causes not the middle, the top, at least the one that I had. I think that's why it accumulated the soot. So we'll see about this one but as far as me seeing any visible soot during my first burn and during this burn i don't see any however i do want to make a note that it's not drafty in my room at all i did have the ac on but i don't have it really close to it so that might be helping but in terms of me seeing soot um i don't see any however with crackling candles i think you typically get more soot than with a regular like single wick or three wick for example but yeah, the scent, oh, I enjoy it. So in terms of how quickly this gives off scent, I would say it takes about 45 minutes. And at that point, it hasn't fully pulled out. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. Um, in terms of strength, I would say that this is one of the candles that, in my opinion, 
it projected pretty well. I would give it a projection about an 8 out of 10. It traveled from my room to the hallway and then it was creeping over to the kitchen area. Um, however, the strength is a little bit on the weaker side. I mean, we're not talking um, homeworks, DW, unscented. We're maybe talking, mm, I would say, Yankee Candle, slightly a little bit more. So I would give it a 5 or 6 out of 10. So if you're not comfortable with that strength level, maybe skip out on this. However, there's like an ambiance with this candle. Um, you're getting that added like little fizzle or crackle just to let you know right now the sound actually changed a little bit so let me take off my mic and get it a little bit closer and you can see how sometimes it does this hissing thing all right hopefully you can hear that but it's like hissing right now yeah i would say that's an another con is that the sound isn't the most pleasant i really enjoy the wood with candles i feel like that gives a true authentic crackle this one has a little like bumps in the road but if you are okay with how it sounds like um go ahead i personally don't really mind i like having background noise when i work or when i just lounge about but yeah that is it for my review on this red fruits in the forest returning crackling candle let me know if you have any questions and ooh, I really like this. I think out of all the scents, candle wise, I think this was the hidden gem out of them all. Granted, it's not like beast mode candle in terms of strength projection. Um, projection does pretty okay. So right now the candle's been burning for quite a few more hours and I've had this tin foil on. So I do want to make a note that the scent does change a little bit. I feel like it's gotten a little bit like almost like smoky. A bit which I don't mind because there is a cedar note in there so I know that there's going to be a little bit of um, like a smokiness to it also because with crackling candles I feel like it's more prone to sitting but strangely enough I haven't seen any visible soot and if I remove that tin foil that's wrapped around it I don't see any fallout like with some candles that are not or that they don't have wooden wicks like they have cotton wicks it tends to form mushroom tops so yeah overall the scent is good i would say the strength right now would be uh, it kind of mellowed out at like a five or a six so it's definitely not a heavy uh strength at all i feel like the throw is pretty good it filled up my room it's trying it's trying to at least creep into the hallway so yeah hi everyone so it's been maybe about two hours since i've had this aluminum foil the little unburnt ledge of wax really bothered me, so I thought might as well, you know, I already have this one that I saved for problematic burns. So let me go ahead, take this off. And as you can see, now I have a completely even wax pool. It did muffle the sound a little bit. However, I do want to note that this is a little bit light right now. I feel like, especially if you compare it towards the beginning, right now it's really, really light. I don't know if that you can even pick up or the camera or the video is even picking up the sound but yeah um i would recommend this if you're not really going to have your tv on loud if there's not construction going on i think my computer is pretty old so i think it makes more sound than this so that's just a quick tidbit but thank you so much for watching this video hope you have a great day okay bye